Welcome back to Out and About Today. I'm Brent Meredith. Located in downtown Nashville in the beautiful Art Deco former post office, the Frist Art Museum has long been a must-see for locals and tourists alike. Even still, the museum has faced down some of its own set of unique challenges during the pandemic. And joining me now is the Frist Art Museum Executive Director and CEO, Dr. Susan Edwards, to share their journey and give us a preview of what's in store for the future and this year's 20th anniversary. Welcome back, Susan. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Brent. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, of course. I am super excited about this, and we've got a lot to jump into, so I'll try to keep my commentary to a minimum and let you, the expert, do most of the talking about the art. But I, I am curious to know, as I said in the intro, you know, we're 20 years in, you're celebrating your 20th anniversary, and what are we thrown with or thrown into this year but a pandemic and trying to survive and deal with the challenges that faced? And I know you guys have actually done it very well and survived well. How were you able to do that, and why do you think the Frist was, um, was able to to, to sort of carry itself through through the pandemic this way. Well, thank you. Uh, and I think that's thanks to our trustees and our supporters and an amazing staff who were able to pivot and move many things online and then do uh, a huge amount of research to discover how art museums could reopen and as many have not in the country and the world we're very fortunate that we were able to get all the protocols in place and be able to get our visitors back in uh, we reopened to our members first in june and to the public july one uh, and we found that the interest in the current exhibitions has been enough to inspire people to go to the website purchase a uh, time ticket or free for members, of course, and uh, keep a distance, uh, a physical distance and follow protocols, one way in, one way out, uh, no crowding. So in many ways, the museum going experience is richer than it's been um, because they're not huge crowds. We're full, but not uh, overflowing. And there's plenty of time for a, a, a an intimate relationship with the art that you're seeing. That's an interesting point, and I'm glad you made it because I, I've got an appointment actually coming up in a few weeks um, uh, for the, some of the member time before sort of it opens to the regular ticketing time. And um, I was curious how that how that would work, and also kind of excited as you say, there's going to be fewer people there. One of the side benefits I feel like we've we've all accomplished during this is is understanding that it's nice to have a little bit of room, especially when you're trying to appreciate the artwork. So if someone is not a member but wanting to become a member or wanting to buy a ticket, they can essentially do all of that online through the website as well as schedule their time in correct exactly and I, I would like to make a little pitch for membership because yeah. members have special hours uh, Sunday mornings are reserved for our members uh, so that's from 10 to 1 uh, which reduces the pool of people competing for those time slots but also uh, because you're a member and you can come for free it's much easier to exchange your ticket so the tickets are non-refundable and non uh, exchangeable. So for the general public, you, you don't have the benefit of flexibility that you have as a member. And of course, you're in a little bit more congested viewing uh, circumstance, but it's all we're meeting CDC guidelines and following the protocols of Metro Nashville Health Department as well. Well, fantastic. And I, I, I want to spend as much time as we can talking about what are, what's in the galleries now, because I, I was very excited when, I, you know, word came out the Picasso tour was coming or the ex exhibition was coming and it's here now. Um, and you are clearly the expert in this, much, or, much more so than myself, but kind of walk us through what, what can someone expect now when they've, they've gone online, they've scheduled their ticket, they show up with their mask, they're ready to go. How do they enter the building and, and sort of what is that experience like now? What are they going to see? Well, thanks for asking. Um, for, for those of us from Nashville, it will be a pretty familiar path through because you enter the building on the Demumbrian side of the uh, entrance there and uh, uh, come down the Conte Community Gallery where we have an exhibition that is uh, celebrates the landmark repurpose from post office to the art museum. And this is installed uh, in conjunction with our 20th anniversary uh, year. And it recounts the story, the historic, the, the story of the historic building uh, has many historic photographs and uh, for the uh, building and the renovation. And we also have a special feature where you can look at 
uh, an interactive uh, site where you can look then and now of the original building and the way it is used now for a visual arts uh, uh, learning uh, opportunity and mm -hmm. art museum. So uh, we're also publishing a 20th anniversary of the original catalog for that exhibition, and it will be available later this year in our gift shop. Uh, so to celebrate this incredible uh, landmark in our history of 20 years, which uh, many people have moved to Nashville since we've been open. So you have, because of the gravitas of the building and its position in downtown Nashville, you think of it, it's always been here, but it only opened April 8, 2001. And we are so honored to have the exhibition Picasso Figures which is on loan to us from the Musée National uh, Picasso Paris. And um, these are all works of art that Picasso lived with during his lifetime and bequeathed to the state. I see now on the screen that you uh, scrolled ahead to Creating the American West, yeah. which is an exhibition that's in our upstairs galleries from the Petrie Institute of Art at the Denver Art Museum. So there are about 80 paintings and sculptures made between 1822 and 1946. Um, notably, Albert Bierstadt, uh, 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 Robert Henry, of course, the very famous Frederick Remington and Charles Russell, uh, John Sloan and Maynard Dixon. Mm -hmm. But it's very important because it pays attention to a revisionist look at art history that includes the voices of indigenous people. It's a very important part. Now you're looking at uh, scenes from Liliana Porter's Man with Axe and Other Stories. The Argentinian born contemporary artist Liliana Porter uh, has work in the Gordon Contemporary Artist Project Gallery. Um, she's renowned for arranging discarded everyday objects to create these theatrical vignettes that delight and are philosophically uh, delightful. And online, we have our third exhibition. This is in 2020, Community mm -hmm. Reflections, an exhibition that was organized by Nashville artist Woke Three, uh, one of the founders of North Art Collaborative Collective. And um, he brought together uh, works of art, uh, you can see in all mediums here, and which include performances and um, video work and music and they're all uh responding to the circumstances of 2020 which included the tornado that touched down and touched down in in north nashville uh, march 3rd through the pandemic and the um calls for social reckoning that followed the protest in the summer after george floyd's killing and um even uh, up to the, 20, the bombing on December 25th. So um, it's pretty hard hitting exhibition, but I, I'll tell you, it really was, uh, it is something that speaks very much to the volume uh, or the commitment of these artists to Nashville. So we're very honored that they're exhibiting with us in an exhibition that we could get together uh, very, very quickly. Um, and we've changed forever because of the pandemic. We are attracting audiences from all over the world. So it's not just local. Um, uh, it's great to have people in the bricks and mortar. We welcome everybody to the Forest Art Museum, but also we welcome to people to see us online where you can reserve time tickets to come in, but you can also see wonderful uh, programs and hear people talk about art, but also see in 2020. Fantastic. And uh, we're going to talk some more after the break. Um, I'm just going to take a short uh, break here. So when Susan and I come back, we'll continue our discussion about how art is a crucial component in the recovery of our health and our sanity. Stay with us.